Beloved intercessor, may the Lord bless you as you continue to plead with God for the destiny of your life, your family, and your nation. This week, we're going to deal with the subject holiness and the conquest. We're going to have several exhortations, several challenges, one a day. So today we talk about purify yourself and cross your last barrier. In Joshua chapter 3, we read verse 1. It says, early the next morning, Joshua and all the Israelites arrived at the banks of the Jordan River, where they camped before crossing. Notice this special time in the history of Israel. After all the going around in the wilderness, now they arrived. And I will say to your group, I will say to you, I will say to our network, we arrived at the banks of the Jordan River. If we have the audacity to obey the Lord, to trust Him, and to cross the river, we will start our conquest. So this is a week to prepare in holiness, sanctifying ourselves and getting ready. You know, holiness and victories go together. If, if you are holy, you will be a victorious Christian. If your group is holy, it will be a victorious group. And so we already arrived to this place. Now, three different attitudes. The first one is disobedience. It means long-term camping. That explains why some groups are stagnant, because they camp, but not before crossing. They camp to stay. And this is a mobilization of the people of God. It's a week of consecration, so next week we can advance and plant new groups. The second attitude is mysticism, where it means floating to see what happens. The Lord never called the people of Israel at that time to just navigate the river, but He, he called them to cross over, and that's our calling. It may seem impossible. It is humanly impossible, but we can do this. And then the third attitude is faith. Cross the river with determination and faith. So we are praying this week for one another this day, and we are praying to receive holiness that obedience, that, that purity that prepares our hearts for the next step. May the Lord bless you greatly.